Everyone, this is All Things Techno. In this video, we're going to run through some of the points that were brought up yesterday at WWDC, and particularly, this is concentrating on the Mac OS software, which is called Mojave. Head over to my sister channel for much more information on this and individual video details of all these different features. Okay, guys, so quickly, the main things that were discussed. Firstly, dark mode. Go from here to this. Now this is brilliant if you're working at night and it's dark and you've got that glaring screen. Now you can switch everything into dark mode. It works brilliantly. This is stacks which will organize all of your desktop to this. And as you can see, you can do it by lots of different ways. And if you want more details, as I said, go to my sister channel and subscribe there. But you can sort all of the desktop information by the different types, when it was created and things like that. This is dynamic wallpaper, and this will change during the course of the day. There's only one available at the moment because obviously this software is still in beta. But we'll see more develop, more coming out as this beta software develops through the various stages. And there are new screensavers as well for you to check out. Now, one of the great things about this new software was some standalone apps being released for your Mac operating system. This is Apple News, and this is a fully customizable news, very similar to Flipboard. If you had that on your iPads a few years ago, guys, then this is very, very similar, but it's for your Mac operating system, and you can just create all your news in one place. This is the Stocks app, then this is brand new, a really good feature you can go and add your individual stocks that you're interested in and it will come up with relatable information and stories to that stock so very very smooth and I was blown away just how good all of this is working in this very very first beta release so Finder has had a complete overhaul and where Finder used to just be almost like a viewer, now you can actually rotate images so that they around the correct way. You can actually mark on images so you can write things down. And on the right hand side, you can get a lot more information about an image or a video because all of the metadata is now fully visible on the right hand side. You can even do things like trim audio clips and export to PDF. So it's very, very comprehensively changed, guys. One of the things that's also had a complete overhaul is the Mac App Store. Now this is a comprehensive change which has mainly focused on the editorial content and also you've got on the left hand side now all of the different genres so it groups different applications and games together and makes it a lot easier for you to find different applications that you may be interested in. But also when you do click on the application, there's a lot more content. So guys, this is pretty much it for this video. Just to let you know that there's a lot of changes coming to Mac. This is due to come out in the fall, but I will keep you updated through all of the beta releases on my sister channel, which the link will be in the description. So make sure you subscribe to that if you're interested. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.